Hello everyone and this is Learning CSS. Today we're going to be talking about the content box versus the border box. So what are the differences between those two? So first off, by default, elements are treated as content boxes. That's the browser default. So in my little example here, I have a div element and I have some CSS here. I've increased the font size a bit and constricted the width. So if we add some padding, 10 pixels, and let's just leave it at padding. Refresh here, hover over the div in the inspector, and you can see the 10 pixels of padding on all sides of my div. Now I'm going to come down here and pull this out a bit. Click on the padding, and I'm going to increase it in real time. And we can see we're getting a lot more padding. Now we're getting less padding, and if you look at the width and the height of the element in that little black pop-up box that kind of pops up down here. The width and the height are increasing as I increase the padding and they are decreasing as I decrease the padding. See that? So even though I've hard-coded the width over here at 300 pixels, the actual width and height also take into account how much spacing that you apply in the form of padding. So with 10 pixels of padding on either side and 300 pixels of width, the total width of our div is 320 pixels. It's a little bit confusing, but that's how content boxes work. Now if we change this to a border box, refresh, hover over this, we still have our padding, but you can see that the width is 300 pixels. So the border box respects the width that you give it no matter what. So if I come down here and I do the exact same thing and I increase our padding, we're still getting a lot more padding, but our width is staying at 300 pixels. So if, if I go even more, you can see that eventually the content kind of word wraps to two different lines because there isn't enough room for the words div element when we have so much padding. And that's the really the main difference between a content box and a border box. The border box will respect the width that you give it and the height, whereas the content box will take into account the padding and, for that matter, the border. So if I add it just to show what I mean, add a five pixel black solid border, refresh, there's the border. Let's go back to a content box, refresh. We can see that our width is 330 pixels. That's the 300 width I gave it here, plus 10 pixels on the left and the right, plus five pixels of border on the left and the right for a total of 330. 30 pixels of width. That's the content box. Now let's go back to the border box and we can see, hover over it, our width is 300 pixels. And that's the main differences between the content box and the border box. Thanks for watching.